Here's my nice multi-step form. Three steps, personal information, project details, documents and terms. Let's choose something and add some information. Choose project budget. Move to the third step. Let's drag and drop some documents or images. Add my signature. Agree to terms. Submit. And done. Awesome. Now setting this up is going to take only a couple of minutes and in this video I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's jump in. First things first, the plugin we're going to use today is called Bitform. It has a free version, the one you see on the screen right now. Currently it has more than 6000 active installations, mostly 5 star reviews. And it has a pro version. Currently there is a campaign going on 25% off. That is one side license is $29. Five sites license is $69 and $99 for unlimited sites. There is also a lifetime plan, the one you see on the screen right now. Now, if you watch this video later and the discount campaign is over, then take a look at the description of this video because there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. Just follow the link and you're good to go. Now, when this is out of the way, let's go and create a form. And after installing the plugin, you'll see the Bitform menu on the left here. Let's open up all forms. Now, one more thing. I have made a separate video about all the Bitform settings and setup. So I'm going to put the link to this video also in the video description. Because in this video I'm not going to go through all the settings. I'm going to keep it short and I'm going to show you how to create a form. Let's create a form. Choose blank. And now we have three steps. One step. Let's add another step. And let's add a third step here. Let's open up step one. Click here. And you'll see on the right, we have a step information. You can choose whether to display the progress bar, percentage, buttons, and so on. Just add the information here. Next, if you click on the step itself, you can change the text. For example, personal information. For the second step, it's project details. And for the third step, it's documents and terms. Let's go to the first step. And first, we're going to add simple text field. Let's move it up here. Now this submit button, I'm going to right click on it and move it to the step three. I don't need it here. Next I'm going to select this text field, rename it name, hide the label. In the placeholder I'll enter, enter your name. Trailing icon is this one here. Download and save and you'll see it's here. Now I'm going to drag it here and done. Next one is email. Let's drag it here and move it here. Once again, hide the label, placeholder, enter your email address. Next one, I'm going to search for phone number. Let's resize it, hide the label and done. Next one is once again text field. Let's resize it once again, drag it here. Label is address placeholder your address and let's hide the label itself. First step is done. Now before I proceed, just a reminder, as you see there are a bunch of options for you on the right, autocomplete, input mode, whether it's required or not. For example, the name is going to be required, email address is required, address and phone number are optional. Okay, let's move to the step two. And this time I'm going to add a image select field. I'm going to rename it as select project type. I'm going to allow multiple selection. Under the add edit options, I'm going to add all the options here. That is first of development. I'm going to choose the image. That is upload icon. And I'm going to choose this one. Next is mobile app development. I'm going to add it as a value and development also as a value. Now let's choose the image as I did before. This one. Third option is digital marketing and fourth option is graphic design. Let's choose images for this one here. Digital marketing and graphic design is this one here. Now, as you see, the images are stretched out, so let's open up the styling option here. Click on it, and you'll see that you can style every aspect of your form here. I'm not going to go through all the information, just 
Let's open up, for example, the image container, override team styles, padding, for example, top padding, 47 pixels, and bottom padding, also 47 pixels. Now I'm going to choose image and let's choose the image size. This time the width is 100 pixels and it's looking good. There is also a preview button here. If I click on it, I can see the preview. Looks good. Okay, next one is going to be a text area that is multi-line text. This one here. Project description as a label, but I'm going to hide the label. And inside the placeholder, I'm going to add describe your project. I'm going to set it as a required field and add another field. And this time it is a radio button. This one here. Label for it is project budget. Option columns. I'm going to set it to four columns. And now under the options, I'll add this one. That is under $1,000. Next one between $1,000 and $5,000. Third option is between $5,000 and $10,000. I'm going to add one more. And this time the value is more than $10,000. Next, as you see, it's stretched out again. So now I'm going to resize it and leave it like this. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. Okay, this is done. Let's move to the step three. And here I need to add a upload that is advanced file upload. There is also a regular file upload, but I prefer the advanced file upload. I'm going to drag the button down below here. Select the file upload, rename it upload project documents. Leading icon is upload. So let's search for it. I like this one the most. And done. Now some other options here. I'm going to allow multiple file uploads, file browsing, drag and drop, and I'm going to allow copy to posting of files. I'm going to allow maximum five files under the image preview. I'm going to set the preview minimum height to 50 and maximum height to 50 pixels and done. Next one, I'm going to add a signature. I'm going to drag it here. Rename it, add your signature. I'm going to open up the layers and fill container. I'm going to override it at top padding of 40 pixels and bottom padding also 40 pixels. Next, I'm going to go back to the editing panel. And as you see, you can choose the pen width for the signature pen color, button alignment information and all other stuff here. I need to add a decision field, that is decision box. I'm going to drag it here. I'm going to click here, that is click to edit decision box label. And I'm going to rename it as agree to terms and conditions. I'm going to save it and done. Now, if I would like to add some other options, for example, divider, then I can drag it here or drag it here. And now let's update it. Let's preview it. It's here. Let's publish it. I'm going to grab this short code. Now I'm going to go to the page, add a short code block, paste it here, update it, open it up. And there you go. Here's my form. Let's test it. Move to the next step. There's my project type selection, some description, project budget. Move to the next step. Let's add some images here. Let's add a signature. And now I see that I need to change the position of the agreed to terms and condition button. Well, it's easy to fix. Let's grab just the submit button and move it down below here. Now, before I submit the form, one more thing, I'm going to go to the settings, open up email templates. I'm going to add a new template, give it the title, for example, agreement form and subject. Now I'm going to map all fields with table, but you can do it manually. I'm the lazy one here, so I'm going to map it with one click. I'm going to save the template and done. Now I'm going to go to the confirmation, open it up, and I'm going to say thank you. 
I'm going to add a name that is this one here. Your form has been successfully submitted. I'm going to update this one here and I'm going to go to the conditional logic. That is, I'm going to set up the email notification. This time, I'm going to activate email notification here. Select the email template, that is agreement form. It goes to my email, but I can select more than one. From email is from my own email. From name, my site name. If I would like to send a copy of the form to the customer, then I'm going to select this one here. Reply to email is the customer email. And if I would like to create a PDF file from the form submission, then I can do also by creating a PDF template. This can be done here. But at the moment, I'm going to skip this part. Let's update it. Now, one other thing. I'm going to go back here, open up the builder. And there is a global team customization. Currently, I have this style selected, but I can also apply this team here. I can update it. And if I refresh it, you'll see it looks a bit different. Okay, final test. Name, email, address. Select project type. Description, budget, add files, add signature, agree to terms, submit, and there's my email with all the information. If I open up the form, there is a responses tab here. If I open it up, I'll see all the information here, and those are the uploaded documents and also the signature. Awesome. Can't get any easier than that, isn't it? Now, before you go, as I mentioned earlier, I have made a separate video about all the BitForm features and options. This video is on the screen right now, so I would suggest you to take a closer look at it. In the meantime, take care.